things to know about sugar gliders before committing to getting them. They are super fragile. You cannot cook with garlic or onions around them. It's very toxic to them. Say goodbye to having a real Christmas tree. Pine is very toxic to them as well. Can't burn candles around them. Nope, the wick, bad news. They are nocturnal, so if you give them snacks in the middle of the night and they will then learn to bark for more snacks, so you will be lying in bed just hearing ah, 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 forever. Wipe down all electrical cords with jalapeno juice so they don't chew them and get electrocuted. Cover all your light sockets so they don't lick them and get electrocuted. Gotta keep their fingernails trimmed every one, two, three weeks so that way they don't snag and get caught on any of the fleece or your clothes. They will die of loneliness, so you should get at least two. The sunlight is toxic to them. Do your research extensively before you commit to these guys. He doesn't like the light, so I'm gonna turn it off. What are you doing? <laughs> just look how freaking sweet. Can we just take a moment? He's so tired. Huey's definitely the calmer of the two. Like, if I had Mango on me, which Mango's sleeping in there right now, Mango would be crawling around me, acting crazy. But Kiwi just sleeps wherever he wants to. Kiwi's the baby, and it definitely shows. <laughs> If it comes at me, I'm- oh, ah! Is your Shuggy really cute? Does she let you boop or snoot? Does she sleep up in a pouch? When you wake her, she's a grouch. Does she have a tail that curls? Do people call her squirrel? Is your Shuggy really cute? Good morning, babies. That was a struggle. But anyway, you want to try some? Oh my god. 
So they've been eating it for a minute now, and they haven't quite learned how to bite into it yet. This is so stinking adorable. Hi! Are you enjoying that? So you can actually see the difference in them right now really well. You can see that the one on the right has more of a thicker line than the other one, and that she's more kind of orange-toned than the other one. The other one's more gray. Melody's loving it right now. One, two, three. I wonder how, I wonder why. Yesterday you told me about the blue, blue sky. And all that I can see is just an eye. Usually one of the complaints with having sugar gliders is that their cage, like everything, it's like ferrets. They smell horrible. What I've noticed is that as long as you clean it quite often, you don't have that issue. I don't have anything porous in their stuff like wood. No, no. If the whole thing can't go into the laundry bin, or if it's not all plastic that I can wipe it down, I ain't keeping it. When I first got my sugar gliders a year and a half ago, the woman had advised me only to wipe one toy down once a week. I was just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it smells way too horrible. The entire cage was just coated with urine and fecal matter. Oh, these all five babies. So come on, let me see you get gone. Get gone. Baby mama, this your song. Been pregnant for way too long. Too long. Now tell the DJ, turn it off. Turn it off. Nam 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 I believe I can fly
at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head. <laughs> You ready? Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Shh, dude, no. You gotta go like, like, hey. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, wait. My words float on the sound. My thoughts swimming around. Yeah, wait for the drop of the sound. Yeah, hey. Hey, my words float on the sound. My words float on the sound. My words float on the sound. I'm just. Why do you guys have to be so loud? So the sounds that they were making, I'm not sure which one was doing it, but the sound that one of them was making is called barking. Those are some of the sounds I have to deal with at night while I'm sleeping. Again, they are nocturnal, so I was prepared for this to happen, but in case you get a sugar glider and they make this noise and you weren't ready for it, that's what it is. And it normally happens almost every day for me. They do it because they're either lonely, and that's normally what happens if you have one sugar glider. I had her first, and I had her for a month before I got her sister, so that's what happened. They do it if one of them's bothering each other. So I think that's what happened last night. One of them was bothering the other, and they just wouldn't stop barking. Hi. Hello and welcome back. Oh, hi. So that sound that this little one did just make is called crabbing. She is the one who normally makes it. She gets mad at me very easily. Hey, come here. Oh. Really? Tell me how you really feel. She does bite whenever she's mad. Oh, <laughs> whenever she's mad at me, she will bite me. That is not common, but whenever she does feel the need to, she will. They are not very big escape artists. She will normally go right back to her pouch if she feels like she needs to, which I have a feeling that's what she's trying to do right now. Yep. So if your sugar glider is crabbing at you, there's no need to worry. Yep, there we go. That was a bite. If your sugar glider is crabbing at you, there's no need to worry. They're just angry and they need some time alone. Come back later for more facts. Oh, lady. Hello, my little cuddle bucks. I just seriously can't with how cute they are. They're cuddling and holding hands. Oh my god. Tenth time with the sugar gliders. Are you coming out to play? Come on, Lupin. Come on out. That's serious. And that's Bellatrix. Tenth time is perfect for bonding. You deserve to be One, two, three, come on.